Unconventionals, the United States is experiencing a super hot summer. Some outdoor events are even being canceled right now. People are being advised to stay inside with the air conditioner cranked up. It's like a heat quarantine. But it is not like that everywhere. So in this video, we're going to tell you about 10 countries where you can escape the heat this summer. And some are even great places to escape the cold next winter. All of these countries are popular with tourists and expats. They all have three to six month tourist visas and long-term residency visas if you want to extend your stay. And now for our top 10 countries to escape the heat this summer. Our first five countries are perfect if you prefer four seasons and don't mind cold winters. Starting with number 10 and that is Chile. Chile is a long, narrow country stretching along South America's western edge with over 6,000 kilometers of Pacific Ocean shoreline. Chile has everything. Yeah, the Andes Mountains for mountain living. You have the modern city of Santiago, Chile, that has a climate that's similar to the Mediterranean. And you have Patagonia in the south for all you nature lovers. And the temperatures in Santiago during the North American summer months are quite cool in the 50s and the 60s. So definitely a great place to escape, escape the heat. Chile is one of the safest countries in South America and it's really popular with tourists. There is so much to experience in Chile, whether you want to go to the beach, go hiking, or even go skiing. I just don't think of South America and think of skiing. You can see penguins in Chile in Isla Magdalena. Chile has a lot of national parks that you can visit and go hiking and the panoramic views are unbelievable. Plus the cost of living in Chile is a lot lower than the United States. And you can drink the tap water throughout the country. Number nine is Uruguay. Uruguay has four distinct seasons like Chile, although they are not as extreme and Uruguay typically does not get any snow. So no penguins. Montevideo temps are in the 50s and 60s Fahrenheit during the North American summers. Yes, so you'll be nice and cool here while you come and enjoy all that Uruguay has to offer. There's a lot of cultural activities, arts, festivals, hiking, history, food, you name it. And Uruguay is known for its high quality lifestyle and low cost of living. Plus it's only a few hours drive to Buenos Aires in Argentina. Number eight is Ireland. Ireland has four seasons, but they're milder overall. They don't have the extreme heat in the summer or the extreme cold in the winter. The temperatures in Dublin in July are in the 60s, and the further south you go to Cork, for example, the temperatures are in the 70s. And if you go to Cork, you can head out and kiss the Blarney Stone. It's supposed to endow the kissers <laughs> with the gift of gab and make you more eloquent and better at flattery. Maybe I should go do that, Amelia. <laughs> I think you're okay, JP. <laughs> However, I would love to visit Ireland. Ireland is super popular with tourists and with expats. It does snow in the winter, but we don't get the heavy snowfalls that we see in, um, I'm gonna say Chicagoland area, for example. It doesn't snow that much in Ireland. Ireland is often cloudy and rainy, which is why everything is so green and why it's known as the Emerald Isle. And there is so much to experience, especially if you're into folklore like JP is apparently. <laughs> Culture, Guinness, you've got food, Guinness. you've got pubs, you've got the people, Ireland's got it going on. The cost of living in Ireland is quite a bit higher than some of the other countries we're gonna feature on this list, but it does have a very high quality of life and it's really popular with expats. We interrupt our regularly scheduled programming with an important update. We are currently in Loja, Ecuador, where it is a balmy 59 degrees Fahrenheit and raining today. Yeah, the temperatures actually feel incredibly nice. You have been asking us to film Loja forever, and we are finally going to deliver. So make sure and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss those videos. We'll be posting those in a couple weeks. We had Germany and Czech Republic in this list. However, the heat wave in Europe has stretched all the way to Berlin. So if you want to escape triple digits Fahrenheit, you're going to have to go further north. Yes, so now number seven on our list is Norway. When I think of Norway, I think of really cold temperatures, no sun, and of course the Northern Lights. But the summertime is the complete opposite and it is a fantastic time to visit. Yeah, you can get your 90 day tourist visa and wait out the heat there. The temperatures are in the upper 50s to the low 70s during the summer. And they have really long days, 17 hours of daylight. 
Yeah, you could do so much during that time. Oh my gosh, JP, that would be amazing. You could go visit the fjords. They have a huge fjord network, and one of them is in the UNES is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can visit the country or tour the country by the train or by ferry. You could go hiking and bird watching. You could go see the midnight sun and the Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle people, if you really want to escape the heat, <laughs> you can go to the Arctic Circle. <laughs> I really want to go see the Viking ship in the in the museum. Yeah, there's a lot of museums, a sculpture park. And the fjords would be really cool to see. I've always wanted to see the fjords of Norway. Oh, and Lilyhammer. Oh yeah, we could go <laughs> walk the streets of Lilyhammer from the TV show. Yes, apparently that's a really popular tourist destination as well. You would have a lot of fun visiting Norway. All right, number six on our list is Sweden, just next door to Norway. Unconventional Sweden is much more than just Ikea, pop music, and snow in the winter. It is a great place to visit in the summer. The temperatures range from the mid-60s to the upper 70s in the summer. It's also the land of the midnight sun with long summer days for you to enjoy all of the outdoor activities. Outdoor activities are extremely popular with the Swedish people. They love to go boating and kayaking and hiking and walking and you name it. <laughs> I had no idea that Sweden was that half the country of Sweden is forested. Stockholm is known as the Venice of the North because they're, I guess, have a lot of waterways. The Stockholm Archipelago has over 30,000 islands. And who would have thought Sweden is a place to go to enjoy the beaches in the summer? But that is a very popular activity, going to the beach, lounging around, and swimming. Or, JP, we could, you could go check out, well, we could, and you can go check out a sauna. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I would want to do that in the summertime. It would be neat to go to the sauna in Sweden. <laughs> yes. They also have a lot of museums. Of course, famous Swedish food. There is so much to experience. Both Sweden and Norway offer 90-day tourist visas, so you can wait out the heat wave there and enjoy your time while you're doing it. However, it is quite expensive in both of those countries, so you're going to need a bigger budget. And now back to our regular programming. If you want to have the choice between both the mountains and the beach, then you're going to enjoy the next five that we have on our list, starting with number five, and that is Mexico. If you're like me, you think of Mexico as a place to escape the cold. However, Mexico actually has quite a few mountain towns with temperatures in the 70s and the 80s. Yeah, those towns are very popular, beautiful colonial cities. Most of them are over 5,000 feet. That keeps the temperatures cool. Two popular areas are Lake Chapala and Ahikik. And in our last video, I pronounced that wrong and everybody corrected me. So thank you, Ahikik. <laughs> Good job, JP. A couple other popular colonial cities are Guanajuato and San Miguel de Allende. Both of those are over 6,000 feet, so they will be cooler. And they are both about a three and a half hour drive to Mexico City. Mexico is the most popular expat destination for people from the United States and Canada. That means there's a lot of large expats, expat communities and they're very expat friendly. Number four is Panama, which has two seasons, wet and dry. It can get pretty warm on the coast of Panama, but the mountain towns stay much cooler in the summer with temperatures in the 70s. Panama's rainiest months are actually September and October, so the summer months are still a nice time to visit. You will get some rain, but it does not rain 24 seven. The most popular mountain town in Panama is Boquete, at least that's the most popular with expats. Panama has several different visa options and it's still a pretty affordable place, really popular to, to visit and move. Number three is Colombia. There are a lot of popular mountain cities like Bogota and Medellin and other smaller towns in Colombia. And because of the elevation, it stays a lot cooler. You can have temperatures year round in the 60s to the low 80s. The country has great weather, although it can get rainy in the mountains and pretty humid on the coast. It's also the second most biodiverse country on the planet after Brazil. That means there is a lot of things to see and a lot of wildlife. It's also more developed and more European compared to some of the other countries on our list. It also has beaches on both the Pacific Ocean and in the Caribbean. Yes, and there is Cartagena, so you can go romance the stone. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Colombia is very affordable and it is incredibly beautiful. Number two is Ecuador, and that's where we live. Ecuador has a wet and a dry season, but the wet season is not that wet and the dry season is not that dry. 
The mountains are actually known as the land of eternal spring. Cities like Cuenca and Cotacachi and even Quito because the temperatures don't vary that much. They don't ever get that hot and they certainly don't get that cold. The average daily highs are between 60 and lower 80. Although there are times when it can get pretty cold in Quito. Especially at night. Yes. But Quito is a really high elevation city. It's about 9,400 feet. So you can get pretty chilly there. You aren't gonna to wanna to bring a jacket with you. Well, and there's also no heat throughout Ecuador because they don't normally need it. You just need to add on an extra layer or two. And in the mountain towns, you don't have any air conditioning because it doesn't get that hot. You would, however, need air conditioning on the coast. Ecuador is also incredibly biodiverse. It has more species of birds than any country on the planet. And so many hummingbirds, they actually land on you. This country is so beautiful. We absolutely love it. And we think it is an excellent place for tourists and for anyone considering long-term residency. There is so much to experience here. The food is great. The people are super warm and welcoming. The culture is amazing. And there are a lot of different visa options. On our journey from north to south, number one on our list is Peru. Peru is similar to Ecuador, although it is further south. So Lima is actually a big coastal city, but it is cooler during the North American summer months. So it's a really nice time to visit. There are also a lot of beautiful mountain cities in Machu Picchu that are really cool during the summers, actually all year round. You're looking at temperatures in the 60s to the low 80s there too. Yeah, some of those are high elevation, so the sun can feel pretty intense, even though it may only be like 55, 60 degrees. So you definitely need to bring your sunscreen. Peru is another incredibly diverse country with so much to experience. The culture and history are just fascinating and the people are amazing. It is also one of the most affordable countries on our list. Let us know in the comments if we missed any countries that would be a great place to escape the heat. If you're thinking about moving abroad, we have a very supportive community of unconventionals over on Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee. You'll get a variety of member-only benefits like extra posts and videos, plus it's a great way for us to get to know you better in our private chat community. Check below for a link and we will see you on the inside. If you enjoyed this video, we think you'll really like this one. And if you want to escape the brutal cold North American winters, let us know if you'd like to see a video featuring some hot and steamy places. All right guys, be sure to leave us a like and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.